Those Damn Ross Kids is a podcast for adults, and the opinions we express do not reflect the opinions of our employers or even ourselves. If you would like to support the show, go to duckfeed.tv slash tip jar and check out our Patreon campaign. Hello? Hello. What up? Not much. How's it going? Good. You? Going all right. Good talk. Yeah. Okay. Later. Kids, a conversation between brothers featuring Chris and Cole Ross. I don't know. I can I can change. <laughs> so I'm too loud and you're not loud enough, or no, you're just loud enough. Okay, but you're too loud. I, I wasn't gonna listen anyway. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. True yeah. enough. Oh. True enough. Oh man. The basketball game is on. Sorry. There you were watching a basketball game? No, it's on. Oh, okay. It's on now as we speak. What basketball game? It's not March. Hometown Hoop Squad. Oh, hoops the hoop squad's on. Okay, I gotcha. Right. Um oh man. Are the Cadillacs playing? Yes. Okay. Cadillacs are playing the Beamers. Okay. All right. I gotcha. Car basketball. I was about to I can't it. say I, I can't say I have one favorite team. I like Beamer, Benz, and Bentley. Hmm. Well, that's the starting lineup, right? Yeah, I mean it's no different than when they play that uh, March Madness with brands. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You've never seen that? No, I've never seen March Madness yeah. with brands. Yeah, March Madness with brands. There's a brands bracket. Oh, it God. takes sixty four brands, and then people make brackets to see who. Who wins? Does and then there's play? goals. Like how, how there's like score there's subject that? matter. Well, it just depends on what the what the competition is. Okay, <laughs> you know, because like a, a a company that makes landmines is a lot different than a company that makes fabric softener. Mm. I mean, they're Maybe. all they're all probably subsidiaries of Procter and Gamble. I mean, come on. Yeah, oh, they're all owned by Joseph Halliburton. Right, of course. Ghost. Um, <laughs> 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 Sorry, I got myself. That's fine. No, no, you, it's, it's just, important. Just it's, it's, it's important. Imagine to laugh. like a, a ghost in a boardroom begging a gavel, <laughs> demanding ticker tape. It is so moved. moved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nay. <laughs> so I think what makes it a tournament in March Madness, and this is this is as timely as ever, two months late. Um, I think what makes it a tournament in March Madness is that everybody's playing the same game. Right. So let's just say you were going to play the March Madness of brands to uh, horrible to the environment. Okay. So then you would work the bracket based upon which, okay, you know, does uh, Procter & Gamble or Pfizer, which one, you know, turns more kids forearmed. Right, right. As in all forearms. Uh, of course, yeah. The, the, they're well, missing the upper part of their arm. Yeah, it's forearms all the way. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're basically like Rayman. Yeah. Floating bottom halves of limbs. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so you say this like it's an official thing, it, and no, it's a, it's a thing on the internet. It's I'm surprised a, you don't know. You, no, you're I, like you're, you're like Mister Internet. Yeah, I, I, yep. That's that. That's what they call me. I'm Mister Internet. <laughs> you're like, dude. I, I'm fuck work. <laughs> that's what that. That's what I am when I roll up onto the stage on Vegas. They call me Mister <laughs> Internet. That's what you should name the company. It's Hi, Duck Feed. Welcome, Hi, this, well, this welcome is Cole to, from Fuck Work. <laughs> welcome to Mister Internet. Welcome to Mystery Internet. Uh, a fuck work production. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, no, I never heard about the uh, the, the the brand bowl. Yeah, um, it's, a, it's I, not a coal. Mm. What? Huge oh, so different, it's, difference it's, it's between different, madness and bowl. Okay, it's a different Regardless bowl of what system, the 20s would okay. have you believe. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so, so it's, it's definitely if anyone, not, not if anyone a bowl gets, system. If anyone gets that, write to someone else. <laughs> yep don't 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 write to any of us. Um, no, I, just... I do need to make an e- I do need to make an email address where people can email me directly. <laughs> There's got to be things they want to say to me without you. <laughs> I'd, I'd prefer not. Um, yeah. No, I try to stay away from. Uh, I, I get enough exposure to brands in my day today 
that I don't I don't I don't seek that out. So it's not surprising right. to me that I would have uh, that I would have missed that particular one. Oddly enough, the people that have found me were just complaining that the insufferable was not about you. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> they thought that that podcast was about Cole. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. The insufferable is that an actual yes. podcast? Yeah, it is. Oh, huh. You, so we like weirdly, you know more podcasts than I do. I think it's about cash me outside. What? Cash me outside? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, that's a name. When, 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 when I say when I say what what I'm asking for is not a repetition of the thing you just said. I'm asking for uh, elaboration. So what I'm hearing you say, Cole? Okay, Doctor Phil. Is that you don't like it when I repeat what I said after what? Right. So noted. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing. You can't just say it again as though that is an explanation. Right. No, that's good. Yeah. And it's just, it's just a little etiquette tip from me to you. Right. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> so should we, should we do that thing where we talk about who we are and, and what we do? Yeah, yeah. So Chris, what episode is this? And this is episode number two hundred and three? Yes, sir. Oh wow. Look yeah. at me. Yeah. Of, uh, of the comedy podcast, those damn Ross. Sorry, I, I, I was right. So. Yeah, no, you, you were not prepared. Let me uh, sit in that you, for a minute, you, I guess. You had to, you had to skip the next card. No, it's the, yeah, that, that, that's what we are. Your, your name is. My name's Chris. My name is Cole, and we're here to entertain your asses. We, uh, we went on a trip last weekend. Yeah, uh, yeah, we did. Yeah. We, yep, uh, we went we went and saw the live show of uh oh yeah dude <laughs> no you already started with that with that vocal fry you were already on your way into into uh, yeah, dude, the live show of uh yeah dude yes right vocal fry yes yeah um i knew i know that term <laughs> um yeah no it was it was funny we, we drove we, well you drove we we went it over we went over to pittsburgh we, we we saw a sign on the highway for a sheets and we're like huh, like that McElroy thing on YouTube, right? And then we pulled yeah. off the highway um, and we didn't realize it was eight miles <laughs> off the highway. I, I didn't realize we were we were podcast star fucking the gas station that someone goes to. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's just a it's a gas station oh, that shit. has that has touch screens for food. <laughs> like uh, that's a good life. Yeah. So then we drove the eight miles back, and we were we were chastened. What, what, what you need to tell them though is that we went seventeen miles out of our way to go to a Wawa that John Candy once took a dump in. <laughs> they have a plaque to that effect, right? Yeah, yeah. No, Pittsburgh is a it's, it's a nice city. I, I enjoyed our time there. Hmm. Yeah. So what that podcast did for me is that number one, it renewed my 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 go get I mean, I knew what episode it was because I'm like, I'm paying attention now. Yeah. It's like, wow, you know, this, this could really be something, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah to be Internet Man. Right, yeah. To, I mean, I'm sorry, Internet Man is taken. We're Mr. Internet, Internet. And also to get the cease and desist order from, uh, order from uh, uh, Jonathan and Seth. Oh, for, for what uh, we do? For Spot the Fake. Yeah. They said it sounded a whole lot like their games yes like, like like their games like course weed mines oh they're their influences where we, you know, right. we don't we, we don't we don't hide that that's fine so so i talked to some chinamen i figured okay. out how we're how we, we're gonna spin it differently okay <laughs> what, um what do what do people from china have to say about this but first oh the, wow what did you know that do you know who drake is uh, he's the guy from the wheelchair. He's, he's in a wheelchair on Degrassi, right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, that, that is absolutely he's he is. He, he's, he's a, a he, that's where he got his start on Degrassi. He was a wheelchair kid on Degrassi. Oh, no, was but he really? now, yeah, now he's a, he, he is a, he is a hip hop artist, I believe. He's a, he's Canadian. Yes. Anyway, this, that, I just, this popped up. He has three albums that exceeded 4 million units in sales. I mean, that seems. Quadruple platinum. It seems uh, reasonable, right? So he's a very popular artist. I he's I assume yeah. he's popular because I've heard his name. Yeah. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to play Spot the Drake. <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, explain the uh, explain the rules to me. So I'm going to give you two different lyrics. I'll number them one and two when I say them. One of them is a uh, best-selling hip-hop artist, Drake. Okay. And the other the other's not Drake. Okay. Very simple. It's okay. So it's really it's on or off, yes or no. <laughs> one or one or two. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. Actually, Chris, I will be right. Uh, nope. I, I will not be right back. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to do something here. I've got a coin. What I'm going okay. to do is um, uh, heads is going to be uh, is going to be made up, and tails is going to be Drake. I'm going to see if random choice. Well, I didn't, yeah. I'm going to see if random choice. They're can actually. Out, can I can can, can, I, can out guess me? I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look at the results. Um, okay. 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 Yeah. All right. Well, let me know when you're ready. Okay. Um, I am ready. All right. Number one. I know way too many people here right now that I didn't know last year. Who the fuck are y'all? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number two. I don't have no trouble with you fucking me, but I have a little problem with you not fucking me. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say, <sighs> oh boy. I'm going to say the first one is, 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 is Drake. Oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, the second one was old dirty bastard from the song. Got your money. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the second one was a little bit too direct to sound like Drake to me. Um, mm. The coin was wrong. Um, I, didn't, I didn't realize you had, you knew Drake's game. That's, I mean, he's real poppy, right? Like, I don't, I, I think that I think that somebody who would write who who would write about somebody having a problem with not fucking them uh, mm -hmm. that 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 sounds a little bit. Uh, he seems a little bit too clean cut for that. I think. Gotcha. But the okay. coin the coin was wrong. Okay. okay. It, it, it only applies to the first one. So this one came up. This one came up heads, which is fake, not Drake, um, for the first one. Uh, but uh, but no. Okay. Ah, there you go. You did it. Yeah. Fake, I, not Drake. You made it. I I, I I I'll bet the coin. All right. All right. Number two. But number one. So number one in in number two. Get it? Okay. Yeah. So number one. I like the girls with the boom. I once got busy in a Burger King bathroom. Oh, Chris, come on. Mm, here we go. All right. Uh, okay. You, you know you're, what that you're, 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 oh, ser okay. you're seriously going to drop. You're going to drop the fucking digital underground on me. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you got that okay. one. All right. So anyway, the one that you know is now Drake is uh, throw the pussy at me. Guaranteed you won't see a strike. I'm going to hit it hard. <clears throat> you're going to think you Derek Jeter's wife. <laughs> that's pretty intense okay so my, yeah. my my preconceived notions about drake's game uh not correct so while we're making love i'm fantasizing about <laughs> fantasizing about raping Derek jeter's wife jesus is that what he said i i think is that what he meant i, I think that i think that there is i mean we don't have to go we don't have to go as far as that word but we we, we probably would want to say that it that it's uh um it, it is an antagonistic act Okay. And and the the so I the, the coin was right on this one so um we are I am two and the coin is one. So <laughs> did you watch the uh the I think it's the third episode of Veep, or first episode of Veep from yes. this season? Yes, you I did? did. Yeah, where she yeah. says that <laughs> she says that it was it was like uh it was like a frat house gang rape only she didn't get a candlelight vigil. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty intense. There was some, yeah. there was some really intense stuff said in that first episode. Oh yeah, it was it was fine. Yeah. But let's get back to the game. Sorry, okay. I didn't right. do that. Yeah. Uh, number one, um, baby, you finer than your fine cousin, and your cousin fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, and the second one is I be tossing, enforcing. My style is awesome. I'm causing more family feuds than Richard Dawson. Oh jeez. Okay, that that messes stuff up. Okay, the Richard Dawson gets me gets me there. So I'm going to say I don't know. Let's yeah, let's let, let's go with uh let's go with Drake because if he is a person who will make reference to Derek to Derek Jeter's wife, I think the uh, the Richard Dawson one is uh, is Drake and the first one is fake. Hey Cole. Yeah. Nung -a -nung -a -nung 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 -nung. What? what? That is the Wu Tang Clan. Oh, huh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well. Also, my Chinese is here. 
<laughs> you had a special doorbell installed? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, no, so both me and the coin were wrong. So, yeah, the, the doorbell has a label that reads um, free money in Chinese. Oh, geez. Oh, man. <laughs> I would press the free money one. Right? Yeah. The other one says no whammy. So you're kind of <laughs> torn. Okay. Well, you have to hit the big bucks and the no whammy button at the same time. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Number one. Now, if I fuck this model and she just bleached her asshole and I get bleach on my t-shirt, I'm going to feel like an asshole. Huh. Okay. Number two, I heard you good with them soft lips. Yeah, you know word of mouth. The square root of 69 is eight something, right? <laughs> I like that. Because I've been trying to work it out. <laughs> um. Wow. Okay, so again, I'm going to make some... I'm going to make some brazen assumptions about Drake's game and assume that he would not have a marquee lyric uh, about bleached assholes. So let's say the first one is fake. That is uh, Kanye West. So the, wait, the, the, the first one is Kanye no, West? The, talking yes, to, okay, cool. Assholes. So I was, yes, I was, I was correct. Okay, correct. cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so and, last so, one. And the, last... the coin was right as well. So Okay. Um, I'm, I'm glad you're playing your own game. <laughs> um, hey, you know what's really going to translate? A coin toss. Oh, I, I'm actually cl- clicking a button on uh, random.org and getting one, a one and two. One, one is ads and two is two. All right. Yeah. All right, Internet man. <laughs> Mr. Internet. Last, I cannot Mr. insist Internet. enough that it is Mr. Internet. Internet man will come after me with all with everything he's got. <laughs> all right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Last one. Number one. Run shit like diarrhea. Okay. Number two. Do I love these hoes? Kind of. Sort of. I got him drinking sangria like it's fucking water. Who? Um, I'm going to say that uh, the second one is Mr. Drake. Um, the first one Correct. does not sound like. Okay, Correct. cool. The first one is Two Chains. Okay. Hmm. I prefer the sequel, Three Chains. Um. Yeah, and the coin, the coin was wrong on that. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I outguessed the coin by one. <laughs> That's funny. I, I, I'll guess the coin by one or two. So there we go. I, I, I beat entropy. <laughs> John McCain's nickname in Vietnamese translates to three chains. What? John McCain's nickname in Vietnamese translates to three chains. Oh, because that's what it took to to to, 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 tie, to tie him up. Yeah, uh, that's when that's when, the... when he was shot down, uh, <laughs> taken as a POW. <laughs> Here, don't, how's this? Don't get shot down. <laughs> <laughs> that was it's re- okay so again you have those moments it's it's like a like time travel sickness or something like that where you have where you have two different versions of the of the tr- of the truth in your head at the same time <laughs> okay right you know, you know just like it's a it's a paradox and it's it's tough to 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 resolve itself in your head you get some kind of dissonance about like okay which one of these is true because both of them both of them happened when you when you said that i realized oh the person who said that is president Right. Yeah. You know, I this just hit me, Cole. Yeah. Paradox sounds like a medication you take before skydiving so you're not scared. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I can't uh I I cannot argue with that. I said argue. What? I said argue. Wow, oh, okay. Um I can't so I can't think of a better one than that with which to argue with it. Par- okay. Paradox does sound um, well. That could be another rapper, um, but uh, but yeah, it does sound like a medicine. I, I can't. Uh, I, I know you told me to, but I can't and won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a gold medal gold medal Olympian at the Special Olympics. <laughs> Swimmer. They call him Paradox. Yeah. Huh. Spot the Drake. Yeah, fake um, not Drake. Is that that what you changed it to? No, no. I I, I like spot the Drake better. Um, okay. Did did that literally just j- just come from the name in your head? Spot the Drake, and then you decided to go and do some go and do some research. Yeah, I was just more like like ah, oh, I don't want to do another one of those. So let's yeah. take it and turn it a quarter. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> we said something there about uh, about um, substances, right? Um, and I want to take us. I want to take us in a similar direction to that. We know here in America that the painkiller addiction is an epidemic, right? Oh, it's awesome. Of <laughs> for it's awesome for a minute. Um, no, so yeah, it's a it's a real addiction. We've got so many painkillers. They're so strong. They're starting <laughs> to uh, they're they're starting to lace heroin with elephant tranquilizer or painkiller or something like that. See, the great thing about addiction is it's that there's people like you and me who are just constantly needed, and it's good to constantly need something. Okay. So, so it, that's, so that's the, why on the other heroin. side it of fills, it, yeah. the Heroin fills the hole, you know? Right, right. You know, especially when it's laced with that elephant uh, stuff. But there's, mm -hmm. a, there, there's, there, there's, a, there, there's a research, there's paper that came out of um, Greenwich University in London uh, that found something that could be a suitable replacement. Uh, for these, uh, you know, for, for, for these painkillers, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something that may be, you know, hopefully less dangerous. Um, and um, what they have found is people with blood alcohol levels of 0.08% have a higher pain threshold. And so if you're in pain at all, just make sure you're too drunk to legally drive and you'll be fine. That's, that's what I was going to say. It's like, oh, well, I don't feel anything. Let's crash. <laughs> well, no, d definitely don't drive. Um, but yeah, just uh, they're saying, hey, it's uh, it's it's roughly equivalent. Alcohol's pain, uh, pain killing effects are comparable to codeine um, and uh, suggest that the effect is more powerful uh, than generic Tylenol or paracetamol. You know, because generic Tylenol doesn't do anything besides kill your liver. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, so let me just make, I want to restate what you said. Okay. You're a better driver when you're drunk and most people are too. I think that that is, I think it's dangerous to say better. I want to say that your competencies shift around. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I think that, hmm. uh, you know, no, it's, yeah, it's kind of like dri driving high. You get, you get real ultra cautious. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So with booze and stuff, yeah. Did you see that they uh, they recalled some Bombay Sapphire gin? Oh, what did that have in it? It was really weird. Uh it had seventy seven percent alcohol instead of oh, forty. Oh Jesus! And they yeah. did not dilute it properly. Yeah, not so... safe for consumption. No, no, seventy seven percent alcohol. That means it would be uh, stronger than one fifty one, right. uh, which is not meant to be consumed it is meant to be lit a, lit, lit a flame <laughs> it is meant to be thrown through a picture window <laughs> <laughs> yep. see the thing is you have you want to make sure it's not a bay window because otherwise it's going to be a little bit too deep you mm. want to achieve enough velocity to get to get through into the center of the uh, of the living room i know my my 151 bottles always talk to me mm. here take a sip bet you're not man enough to chuck me through that window <laughs> See, I think I, I so my assumption would be, and I, I've, I have no idea. I you know, haven't run an anarchist circles, but I have no idea that 151 would make a good Molotov cocktail, actually, because wouldn't it burn like way too quick? Like alcohol, alcohol at that high concentration burns very fast, but also very cold. Like if you light rubbing alcohol. Um, it burns off without actually touching anything. Like I think you want something that burns a little bit lower and slower with a Molotov cocktail because it'll uh, it'll spread around and not just. I'm so happy I understand that now. What? <laughs> you happy you understand the effects of burning rubbing alcohol? Science. <laughs> what about the green alcohol that you buy at the Dollar Tree? No, I think that the green alcohol is uh, it's adulterated, right? Uh, mo most most rubbing alcohol is. Uh... I, I hope not. <laughs> no, like it's uh, they they add stuff. They did they denature the rubbing alcohol to make it unpleasant to drink. Because okay. because otherwise people will go uh, will will go not so for it. Right. Yeah. Okay. No, I got you. Yeah. It's yeah. Good. No. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, I've got another one here for that. Um, what? But while we're just while we're talking about uh, alcohol, do you mind if I do two stories in a row? Usually that's your that's your gambit. No, I'll do it. Okay. Um, there you <laughs> Up in, uh, so you would think this would be a Florida story, but up in Seneca Falls, New York, woman was pulled over 
um, and she blew a point two six on the breathalyzer, so a little bit over three times the uh, the, the the limit, like like on her way to just being. Uh, let's just say completely horizontal and six feet under. That is a ridiculously high BAC. Um, uh, so what, what happened was like police see her driving really erratically, pull her over. Um, she rolls down the window and it smells like a, it smells like a fucking bakery in there. Um, what happened was Mm. she was drinking vanilla extract. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, just like straight up, just pure McCormick vanilla extract. Her, <laughs> I lost cupcake war. <laughs> it's all I got. Um, no, no, and so and so she like her. It's all I had. So 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 her quote was: "It smells like a vanilla drink, vanilla Coke or Pepsi, and no one would know the difference." That was why she decided to to to, to go ahead and do that. Uh, vanilla extract has a has a a, a percentage of forty one. 41%. So it's basically, you know, if you can handle, if you can handle the taste, um, like drinking a small little bottle of, uh, like, uh, like, like bourbon or something like that. Like, you know, like anything yeah, that would like be a, like 80%. Like an airplane bottle. Right. Right. That costs, <laughs> that costs $20. Uh, <laughs> right yeah here's here are some others so if you're looking to pursue this lifestyle which i i do not recommend peppermint extract is 89 percent alcohol no uh, pure lemon extract is 83 percent wouldn't and, that stuff burn you um, just by the the uh, people drink not, ever people drink ever clear no not the alcohol part of it the, the peppermint part of it wouldn't that if you did that straight uh i don't know maybe oh huh. Why don't you yeah. try it? I'd I'd rather not. I can't drink peppermint shit anymore. Um, ever since uh, my I think twenty th- yeah twenty third birthday, um, <laughs> I thought yeah, I thought you were gonna say ever since you stopped stripping at that nursing home in West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I just uh, so twenty third birthday had uh, a ha- had the boys over had a uh, uh, Ben Dennis and David over uh, to play some rock band and do some drinking and. Um, at, at, at one point they decided like, oh, we've got some peppermint schnapps and we're going, you know, it's like, we, let's make like these, um, like, like peppermint schnapps and, um, oh gosh, coffee liqueur and, um, you know, like, like, like hot chocolate. Right. So like, okay, yeah. well, what it is hot alcohol drinks are not a good idea. No, no, no. But we just, you know, it was, it was, it was a long night. And I got so sick. I got so sick. I had to work the next day. I was running across the radio station to throw up. It was real bad. And ever since then, I really don't. I, I just I cannot drink something that tastes like peppermint. Like toothpaste is fine. Mouthwash is fine. Um, but um, like a peppermint flavored drink, no, no go. So even being around that extract might actually make <laughs> me sick. Being near it. <laughs> yeah. And we're going on seven years since that fateful night. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> so blah, so she's being charged with uh with with felony dwi and felony aggravated uh dwi um which is delicious while while intoxicated um mm-hmm. yeah probably not the, uh, the 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 way to go i had a boss uh one time who was really into um this is like before stevia was like a thing you could get everywhere was really into growing growing his own st- stevia or stevia or whatever and making his own extract out of it. <laughs> he t- he talk, talked about it all the time. And uh, But what does he do? What does he do with his weekends? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yeah. It's, so, so like, you know, just to, just talking with him, you know, so he was just talking about, like, oh, I'll, I'll bring it in for you. And he, he brought it in. He's like, oh, yeah, put, I put it in everything. And you know, sometimes I just... You know, take t- t- take a take a swig of it. Uh, it. Turns out that he was making his own extract, and it 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 just tasted it just tasted like sweet vodka. Is 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 what it was. <laughs> I'm healthy, <laughs> healthier than you. <laughs> I'll show you how healthy I am. Uh, okay, push up contest. Mm. Yeah, it was very. Uh, That's it was, a shame. It was very strange. Hey, Cole. Yeah, Cole. Miley Cyrus turns twenty five this year. Only twenty five. Yeah, she's only twenty five. <laughs> yeah, she seems like she's been around longer. That's not she... something. That's not something that's good to hear about yourself. Uh, d- d- ah, d- it d- seems d- like d- you've d- been here forever. 
Yeah, well, yeah, but like it, when you're in the super world, uh, like like time dilates. You know, I've been hearing about her since forever, right? And especially, I guess not over the past couple of years because all my references are out of date. But like, what was it like four years ago? She just decided to be all about uh, like Molly and shit, and then right, you know, she's clean now. Oh, weird. But yeah, right. like she 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 fell into that, and then they were like, "Oh, she's all grown up, and is she be like she she entered the is she a bad influence part of the of the uh, of the life cycle of a of a young pop star, especially young female pop star." Um, right. So she they is seem to, they she's seem to go off the dead end, you know. Deep right? End. Yeah. No. To like twenty five, like she she she's almost retired, isn't she? She should at that be. point. Yeah. Somebody should put her down. No. Um. You know what else is twenty five this year? No. Billy Ray Cyrus's hit "Achy Breaky Heart." I was just reading the Wikipedia article for "Achy Breaky Heart." Yeah, yeah. Um, huh. So on the twenty fifth of August, uh, as a twenty fifth anniversary, um, Billy Ray Cyrus is changing his name. Okay. To Chris Gaines Two. <laughs> Chris Gaines no. Two point oh. <laughs> Right. Now, uh, just to Cyrus, uh, evidently Billy Ray Cyrus has gone by Cyrus since forever, and he begged his record label back in the day to, can you just please call me Cyrus, not Billy Ray Cyrus? <laughs> and they said, no, Billy Ray. <laughs> please. And uh, so for the 25th anniversary and him changing his name, I guess, he went back to Alabama, recorded a new version of the hit song. Oh, with, with updated the- references? With the writer of the song. Okay. Um, and he is also, later this year, going to come out with a Spanglish version of Achy Breaky Heart, as well as an EDM ver- version with Bootsy <laughs> Collins. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cincinnati hero, Bootsy so, Collins. 2017 happened. <laughs> 2017. And we were like, hey, you know what I'm missing? An EDM version of, of Achy Breaky Heart. <laughs> but, like, fucking everything is EDM now. Mm. You, you 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 watch the uh the what is it the american country music awards and then all of a sudden all of a, like everything is edm like suddenly it's, it's it's all gotta drop i would not be i'm i'm actually not surprised hmm, okay yeah yeah i no, I, I, no, I i wouldn't listen to it i think it sounds fucking intolerable but it's kind of like <laughs> on the list I would own it but i would never <laughs> listen to it well, i mean you gotta have it for the collector's value you know Right. I mean, that that's one of those songs that's like people say, oh, well, what would you do as the world? And then some people are like, oh, I'd make love to my wife or I'd eat nachos. And other people are like, nope, <laughs> I have an EDM version of uh, of Achy Breaky Heart. Yeah. It's kind of like the inside this glass box. It says break in case of emergency. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's so, so, how I'm going to spend my apocalypse. Well, yeah. And I think that I think that that would actually make you comfortable with everything coming to an end because that's the best we can do. <laughs> like yeah i don't know shut it shut it down <laughs> i'm i'm more interested in in, in just going by cyrus now because <laughs> that's <Kusa. laughs> but just like okay <laughs> is it just just by going you're just going by your last name like legally he's changing his name like is he's going to be like a, a mononym like share Legally. And evidently, according to the article, he believes he has to go back to the hospital where he was born. Which oh. is not how that works, but mm-hmm. that's what the article reads. He's going to, I am going to go back to the hospital where I'm born. I'm going to yell at, you know, the new <laughs> nurse is there. <laughs> Stop. Stop the presents. I mean, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, he thinks he's got to go back to where he was born and. Well, well, no, he's, right he's, wrong. he's he's, he's got to go back there, pay a new mother to name their child Cyrus, okay, just Cyrus, um, and right. then he swaps. He he's, he swaps the birth certificates, uh, scratches in the new the the, the 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 new new birth date or whatever, and then just all of a sudden he's good. Like like he I don't, he, I don't he, think so. he stole I mean, that child's life. Do you ever work somewhere where you asked for a day off and they said, uh, well, well, no, yeah, sure, you can have it if you find, if you find somebody to take your shift. Yeah, yeah. I actually think that that whole story goes a different way. I think he goes back to the hospital where he was born, mm-hmm. and he has to convince a mom to name their kid Billy Ray so that he can leave Billy Ray. That, that, that's exactly what I said. No, I think it's different. Because <laughs> you weren't listening to me at all. You you weren't listening to me. I said that exact same thing. I thought you told me, no, that's not. that. No, you said you needed... 
Yes, the end result is the same. No, I, I said he would go back. He, he he would pay a mom, find a mom, have her name her kid Billy Billy Ray Cyrus, and then do a swaps. Right, have, have her name her kid Cyrus, then do a swap. So then that that kid would become Billy Ray. Well, yeah, but it's different. My way is funnier. <laughs> Arguing about it isn't, which is why you should just say yes, Chris. You're right. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm yes, Chris. It's the I'm, same not, I'm not going it's, to. It's, it's the I'm same not going to cave to your bullying. Way. I'm not going to cave to your bullying. Cole, it's like when it's like when Dane Cook does a Louis C.K. joke. They're kind of the same, but they're not. <sighs> okay. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Terrorists win. Well, I mean, we're 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 done now. I guess. I don't. It's, well, it's not a discussion anymore. It's been... Good, then no, I can I... take my arm off your neck. <laughs> I've got a story, Chris. You've been through uh you you've been through a uh, McDonald's drive thru recently? <laughs> I, I have. They have all kinds of new shit that I it's confusing. Right. Specifically confusing, and this is the I think this is a, a, a something that's bound to bound to fail. Um, it is their what is it like custom sandwich like Mc McHabit your ways or whatever where it's a it's a little bit like ordering Chinese you have three columns and you pick like hey here's your here's your bread here's your meat and then here's your like preset topping kind of thing right sure it's like signature yeah. signature sides or something like that well um, McDonald's in, in an attempt to market this and I guess we're playing right into their hands because we're fucking talking about it. Sorry about that, everybody. Didn't realize that I, that's what I was doing, uh, but it's what's happening. Um, have decided to say, hey, you know what? These new sandwiches are so loaded up with you know, pulled pork and onion straws or whatever. You're going to need a utensil to pick these up. But you're not going to use a fork like a fucking cuck. No, you're going to use a fork. Like a cuck. Yeah, you're going to use a fork. What is, what is, what is that? Chris, a fork? Um... I think a fork is definitely more of a lifestyle play than an actual than an actual uh, uh, product. It is a plastic armature um, that has it's it's shaped like a fork, except instead of having tines, instead of having tines at the end, there are slots where you can take McDonald's French fries, which are notoriously sharp, and place them in there, um, hold, like holster them up in there, and that way you can use this uh, use your fork to scoop up whatever you know bits of sandwich remnants you have and then put put those in your mouth and then you eat the fries along with the with the thing and then you take three minutes to find another three fries that are of roughly equivalent length nibble them to exact length put them into the armature and then and, and then and then repeat the process fork a fry fork that's not anything that i would have ever believed unless you said it <laughs> mcdonald's is raising the bar all day breakfast updated mcnuggets and now hashtag signature crafted recipes new burger <laughs> are you ready are you ready for an all-day lunch <laughs> new burger or chicken sandwiches with pico de gallo guacamole bacon with maple seasoning sweet onion barbecue sauce and more flavors to be savored even when they spill off your plate so we solved a problem you never knew you had with the fork did the world need this nope does it work kind of either way we hope you enjoy and we can't wait to show you what's next at mcdonald's it's all part of a. It's all part of a plan. Billy Ray's awakening. McDonald's is awakening. Yeah. Billy no. Ray's making a break your heart in Spanglish. Yeah. No. McDonald's they're... is taking a McDonald's hamburger and putting guacamole and pico de gallo on it. Right. Right. Huh. No. Pandering to the highest common denominator. It certainly is. I think this is the, this is a play for the for the top one percent of the one percent. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I think that these things are going to be hot. I, th I think that this is this is an innovation that we're going to. People are looking for their convenience meals to be more complicated. Right, right. I don't know this 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 barbecue sandwich looks kind of dope though. Can you can you be pulled over for forking and driving? Well, no, because you destroy the evidence as you as you go. Mm. Yeah. What have you got a What have you got a fully loaded fork? Well, you gotta you gotta, you gotta dump that shit. Mm. Yeah. No, you don't throw it out your window. You have to install a little panel at the bottom of your in the wheel well of your car or the or the foot well. That way, should you can I, just drop it out because the cops are going to be looking for you to toss your fork. Should I clean off this fork or should I swallow my dime bag? <laughs> Follow your heart. 
got to be the fur. Yeah. Hmm. You got one more right. story? I do. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. Uh, yeah, it's I'm gonna, gonna be, go gonna with the end one. Yeah. That uh, there's this joke that I've heard about the Republican Party not having good celebrities. I mean, when 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 the when the best you're rolling with is Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's bad, right? Yeah, it's per- so the Republican dumb. parties they're they're struggling. Right. Um, there is a. There is like a Ukraine Russian twist to this. And that's that. Um, Do you know that Vladimir Putin made Steven Seagal a, a full blown citizen? Yes. Yeah. Actually, personally delivering his his citizenship shit. Yeah. Yeah. To him. And that, you know, Steven Seagal evidently likes to spend time in former uh, USSR areas. Mm-hmm. Um, Ukraine has banned. Steven Seagal from their their area. <laughs> they pre-deported Steven Seagal for five years. <laughs> They're calling Steven Seagal of Under Siege and Under Siege Two. Right, right. Um, a threat to national security <laughs> because of his neck snapping prowess, or what? Uh, he actually called Russia's 2014 seizure of Crimea very reasonable. <laughs> What and the... then he then he played a benefit concert for separatists in the region. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay, wait. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Beep beep beep. Steven mm-hmm. Seagal played a benefit concert. Yes, Chris? he plays. Pray tell. He plays y- Yaz flute. He plays flute. Steven Seagal is a flautist. Yes. With that neck. With that neck. Huh. Well. He's got the neck of an owl, actually. <laughs> yep. Huh? No, you you see, you see pictures of him now. He looks like John Goodman in uh in in The Big Lebowski. It's pretty uh it's it's pretty strange. What the fuck is up with weirdos in Russia? <laughs> I don't know. It's it's really not good. Uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, they've also they but you know Ukraine has also banned uh, Gerard Depardieu, the uh, the French filmmaker. Yes, they they banned him. He was given Russian citizenship in 2013. Huh. He also banned some Russian sing, uh, singers and, and people. Right, for, for coming over and like being just kind of like cultural rabble rousers, like being, right. being being voices for for the occupation. Being antagonistic. Right. Huh. This uh, so it's 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 funny. A, yes, because I think Steven Seagal is also on that circuit here in America for being a, uh, uh, let's just say, uh, a, a Trump lickspittle. Um, Steven Seagal was also one of like like best friends with uh, Sheriff Arpaio down in um, down in uh, Arizona. Is that the white one or the black one? That is that 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 is the white one. That is like the the the, the super white sheriff who uh, basically set up outdoor prison camps where he forced the uh um he he forced criminals to wear pink jumpsuits out in the blazing sun with no water uh cool what i mean real what what are we doing we bitch (laughs) when we when we keep them locked up 23 23 hours a day we bitch when they're out in the nice outdoors (laughs) i think that there is a middle ground and also being stuck out in the being stuck out in the in the blazing Arizona sun with no water, I wouldn't call that a. Uh, I think I would call that an overcorrection. We bitch when we give when we throw them naked into a dark room, and then we bitch when we give them a nice pink jumpsuit and <sighs> the fresh air. I, I know, I know you're, I know you're being funny. I know that's a joke. I can't actually laugh about it. Except I'm I'm laughing I'm laughing at your audacity as opposed to the thing. I don't know. Fuck, am damned, I laughing at it? Damned if you do, man. Damned <sighs> if you don't. There's nothing nothing you can do. But yeah, mm. uh, there the Steven Seagal had a had a television show. I think at one point he he ran over he he he, he ran one of Arizona's tanks into the front and into the front of somebody's house, thinking that it was the house <laughs> of a drug dealer. Um, except it was the wrong person's house, and I think a dog died as a result of it. 
<laughs> the wrong person. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was a tank. Terminator. Yeah, yeah, he ta- he <laughs> yeah, he t- he tanked an innocent old couple's house and their dog <laughs> because he thought a Terminator was living there. Oh no, I should have gotten that role. Beep beep beep. <laughs> This has been Those Damn Muskets. Hey, Chris, uh, do you want me to tell them what they can do? Please. Yeah. Um, go on over to duckfeed.tv if you're listening to this around the time it comes out here in May of 2017. We made some announcements here recently about uh, different shows on the network, uh, such as Bonfireside Chat ending and watch out for fireballs becoming more frequent. That is all very exciting, but there are details that are going to have small effects here and there. And we're also looking for people uh, to respond to a survey. Uh, Two things I would like to repeat because we said it in the show and we said it in the thing. And we also um, said it in a bunch of different ways, probably not worth uh, putting in uh, these two things, either. Hey, I wish you guys wouldn't talk about politics or, Man, I'm sad you don't like Dark Souls 3. Uh, both of those, probably not great. Uh, we're, 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 we can't change that. So otherwise, we've gotten tons of great feedback on it. And uh, there's a, the, you, get, you have a small chance to win a, uh, a $20 gift card for Steam for your trouble. Um, for this show, uh, head on over and leave us a review on iTunes. It may not seem like a help, but it does. Um, a, it boosts my ego, um, and B, it does raise visibility for the show. Um, and also tell your friends if you like this show and you think they would be down. Chris, did I forget anything? No, you got it. All right. Sorry, America. Sorry. Right.